In this video, I am going to discuss about Kohler's insight theory and characteristics of insight learning. Insight is learning that appears to occur in a flash and that involves the solving of a problem. It is a form of problem solving that appears to involve the often sudden understanding of how elements of situation are related or can be recognized to achieve a solution. Kohler's experiment Kohler put a chimpanzee inside a cage. A bunch of bananas was hung from the roof of the cage. A box was placed inside the cage. The chimpanzee tried to get the bananas by jumping but could not get them due to height. The chimpanzee finally used the box placed below the hanging banana and climbed on the box and got the bananas. In another experiment, the chimpanzee required two or three boxes to reach the banana. The chimpanzee namely Sultan was able to learn placing one box on the other and succeed in getting the banana. In another experiment, a bunch of bananas was kept outside the cage. Two sticks were placed inside the cage. After several trials, the animal joined the two sticks and pulled the bananas in with a stick. Now characteristics of insightful learning. Insight is the sudden grasping of the solution to a problem. Insight alters the perception of the essential relationship in the total situation. Insight is facilitated by the previous experience. Insight is related to intellectual ability of the learner. Insight learning involves understanding and reasoning about the problem. Insight poses alternative mode of trial suddenly to solve the problem. Now the steps in insight learning. The first step is identifying the problem. The motivated teamer identifies the problems involved in attaining the goal. The second one is initial efforts. Initial efforts are in the form of simple trial and error mechanism. The third one is incubation of ideas. It involves a period of hesitation or pause towards the problematic situation. During this period, the mind keeps the task alive. The fourth is insight development. A flash of lightning comes in mind to solve the problematic situation. And finally, repetition and generalization. After obtaining an insightful solution to the problem, the individual applies it in another situation, which requires a similar type of solution. The individual generalizes that similar problems require same type of solution. Now try this.